Well, how's it going, JDM crew? Sorry for the noise. <laughs> I don't exactly have AC in this. We've only got fan. It's a little warm today. So I got the windows down. Cruising along in this good old Hakoska. So for those of you that are real fans of the classics, yeah, we actually do have a carbureted L20 in here. So uh, a legit old school Datsun Nissan engine in here. Nice and smooth though. Uh, we actually have a lightened, um, well it's composite, it's not fiber or carbon fiber, it's actually fiberglass. Uh, but you know, it's a lightened hood here so we don't have the heavy steel one on there. Uh, this is a replica, also uh, for those of you guys that don't know the difference, there is the, uh, the GTXs, with, uh, which are not the same as the GTR, but uh, you know, there's a lot in common and you got a lot of that styling, so people tend to make uh, GTR replicas out of the GTXs. So that's what this is. We've had a lot of both here on the channel, so uh, this is another one of those GTXs. But uh, definitely beautiful styling inside and out, and uh, here we go. Nice and smooth through the RPMs here. Uh, we do have some racing carburetors on there and individual throttle bodies. I'll show you guys in a little bit once we get under the hood. But uh, yeah, a lot of riders out today. It's nice to see. But uh, I mean, yeah, like what is it? Like in the upper 20s Celsius. So in the 80s Fahrenheit, really great day. That's why uh, I don't mind having the windows open here and uh, just cruising along nicely. Uh, but yeah, this interior has been updated a little bit. We've got a Caro's area audio kit, got some speakers right next to where you guys are located at in the back. And uh, just overall, like a really good condition. It's been restored, by the way, so there's a lot of fresh paint. Like in the engine bay, it looks super nice. Uh, they even have a little bit of that, uh, sort of like that wrinkle spray put onto the engine. So uh, the engine cover, so the valve cover looks pretty nice there. So everything looks a bit updated, but still has all that classic uh, character that you would expect from a Hakoska. But yeah, interior-wise, it's pretty stock. I've got my lap belt. <laughs> so um, if you guys are looking for safety features and airbags, we don't quite have that. Um, if, if you know of any other 70s and 60s classics, that's exactly what we got here on the Hakoska. But yeah, we're almost to the warehouse here, and I mean, there's not much in the way of horsepower. We've got about 150 to 200 horsepower out of the inline six here, two liter, very nice. It's somewhere around like 150, 140. But since it's a classic, I'm not pushing it. But we do have coilovers on here, and we do have a wider stance with these really nice uh, Watanabe style wheels. But uh, yeah, let's just fast forward up to the warehouse and I'll show you guys around inside and out to see how this really nice GTX slash Hakoska replica really is. Certainly with this weather, it's really nice just cruising around. Dang, yeah, we got a little bit of that sea breeze coming up through the delta here arm out the window just beautiful weather feels great definitely with those carbs though love that sound really opened up on the exhaust too so it just has that nice rumble nice dark interior here so I opened up the doors to at least give you guys a little view and here we go <laughs> the interior is pretty good here they have some of that uh, chrome trim there, and as you can see, uh, so the dash is uh, like plastic, um, and yeah, this one's actually in really good shape, no cracks, so, which is pretty common for an over 40-year-old car, so this is in really good shape here. They took good care of it. 
And uh, yeah, the odometer says about 8,800, but it's definitely more than that. I'm not sure how many times it's rolled over. Uh, you could check with our sales team on the info on that, so. Uh, it is a, a GTX, as I mentioned earlier, so these have been a bit more driven over the last 40 plus years. As you can see, we got a pretty nice wooden shift knob there, very classic. Uh, some of the uh, coating is already worn off over the years, but still pretty good shape. Got a remote there, which uh, is not original from <laughs> this far back in the 70s, so we have a Carrozzeria audio system here. And as I mentioned earlier, we have speakers in the back, which, oh, let's see if I can get a view of that. There you go. So we do have some upgrades here. Step out uh, for a second. And as I mentioned earlier, there isn't an AC unit. So AC was optional back in the day. So you do have fan and heater, but uh, you don't have the AC unit, which would actually go here. Uh, we do have videos of other Hakoskas that had the AC unit, which was actually installed here. So we do have the uh, radio and climate controls here in the area. So this is your center console. All right, and we do have uh, well, plastic sheets on it, but you can see the vinyl's looking good on that. Just keep that nice and protected. And in the back here, You'd see the bench rear seat, it's all good. And as I mentioned earlier about the safety options, you do have a lap belt, which goes across to the old school buckle here, it has the Nissan symbol and all that. And you do have the crossover shoulder belt there. So the uh, passenger side also has it, so that's what's hanging up over there. And of course, uh, for the headliner, looking really good here, not sagging. Uh, probably part of the restoration though, because it is looking really fresh. And of course you can see over here, all the uh, old flooring there. So all the panels and stuff looking really good. I'll grab the key real quick so it can pop open the trunk. I'll show you guys that. And I've already popped the hood, so we'll look in the engine bay here in just a minute. And as you can see in here, it's looking really good. They definitely restored that. We even have like a fresh back plane there, so definitely keeping the compartment separate. That's where you'll have uh, your fuel pump and some other goodies over there. And we don't have the spare tire in there but you can get one pretty easily but for the most part yeah they clean this up during the restoration looks fantastic and uh, yeah for the exhaust see that shine right there good old stainless steel looking real fine Have a little walk around here so you guys can see just the condition of the paint here they did a really good job you got the over fenders there yokohama tires on there Let's have a look in the engine bay here. And you guys have been anticipating that. And as you can see here, um, nice and light. This is fiberglass. And they do have new hinges and everything on there. So everything's in really good shape. There's the uh, washer fluid over there on the side. As you can see, coilovers are installed on here. So they dialed in the height to around OEM height, a little bit lower and rides very comfortably 
As you can see, uh, a lot of room in the engine bay here. The good old L20, you can see the nice valve coating there on the valve cover. Fresh hoses and everything like that, so that's one of the reasons why it's been running real smooth. Yeah, having a nice and freshened up ignition system on there just and the fuel delivery just really nice up through the rpms i mean it's nothing too crazy but it sounds great with those individual throttle bodies so itbs are always the way to go and here's some numbers for those of you guys looking for additional information kgc10 And as you can see, like the rating originally is around 120-ish horsepower. This is putting somewhere between that and 150-ish. So did a little bit of that tuning. I mean, you could definitely bring it up some more, but these things are quite old, but definitely put out nice, smooth power throughout the RPM range. So That classic front opening hood there. I could just uh, unhook this, okay. And as you can see, we've got front disc brakes and in the rear we have the classic drum brakes there. It's still pretty comfortable overall. It's the best of the times back then. And here's another view of the coilovers. As you can see, everything's freshened up really well, even here in the wheel wells. So we got fresh coating underneath. And get a lot more years out of these cars. Well, uh, there you have it folks, another fine classic Skyline here. And as I mentioned before, not GTR genuine, but it is GTX, part of the Hakoska line. Uh, definitely still fantastic. And as you may have seen on our channel before, some of the previous videos, we've had actual GTRs as well as replicas such as this, but obviously, Really nice to have some classic restored vehicles here once again. And uh, if you're interested in this or any other vehicles, make sure to hit up our sales team info at jdm-expo.com and uh, they'll be able to answer your questions or uh, source you one uh, if you're looking for something a little bit different, especially I know some of you guys really want the genuine GTRs. Um, you know, as with any classics, the prices could be anywhere. So, uh, but we do have partners all across the country and we have definitely had them before and can get more. So uh, definitely we have a replica but hey you know as i mentioned you know it's up to you definitely really awesome classics just like from the other uh it just reminds me of a lot of the old school like z's and mustangs and everything else from the 70s just beautiful curves and edges there you just the contours of it just love that styling and uh, i'm glad they're actually bringing it back with some of the newer cars too especially dodge doing that and that's a different topic so uh um and if you have any other questions guys facebook instagram twitter send those dms to our sales team they'll be able to get back to you within about 24 hours and uh, yeah if you have questions about the process and of course availability with shipping um there are delays in some parts of the world but overall things are moving as we head towards the end of this year and things continue to open up so uh definitely keep the JDM dreams alive and hopefully the markets stay a little bit more sane like it's definitely been crazy out here for everyone and um, just the uh, the popularity of JDM vehicles like you guys that have been following here for a while have seen just things keep getting crazier and crazier but uh, a lot of people do understand why JDM is the way to go so as always guys thanks for stopping by and uh, hope you enjoyed this classic and uh, we've got some more on the way so I'll catch you in the next video so take care